This is a PL statement, but it's not a PL statement like you're used to it. This one is visualized. And visualizing a PL statement is the best way to help it convey the financial flow that it aims to show. Visualizing a financial statement like this is the best way to make it more comprehensible and more understandable to non-finance individuals. Visualizations and charts can help simplify this complex information and present it in a way that's understandable to more people. In simple terms, this pretty much means that we have to visualize our financial statements to make them understandable to everybody. While we're on the topic of complexity, one thing that we many times do is also present too much data. And hierarchical PL statements can really help us here as we can change the amount of data that we actually show to each individual. Do you want to have just a brief overview for your management or do you want to deep dive into a specific category or look at specific accounts? Well, now you can do this on the same meeting without any extra data preparation, just with the use of Zebra BI. Visualizing data in this way will help you accelerate your decision-making process, as the decision-makers will be able to interpret the data by themselves, understand the key insights and make better informed decisions by themselves and won't need any hand-holding to understand what's actually going on. It also makes it easier to find and understand the result fields like gross profit or operating income, and especially which accounts fall under each of them, or better yet, even understand the calculations that we took to get to this result number. Now, before we go into Excel and I show you how to visualize your financial data simply with Zebra BI, let me give a special announcement. On this month's live demo for Office, Lilia Lishnik will have a special offer for all the attendees. Not only will you be able to see a BI specialist show you exactly how Zebra BI can take your reporting to the next level with Zebra BI in Excel and in PowerPoint, but you will also be able to grab Zebra BI for Office at a special price. Don't miss on this amazing offer because if you do, your competitors won't. The link to register is in the description below. Now that you registered and you also like the video, thank you. We're ready to visualize our PL statement, so let's go into Excel and let me show you how easy it really is. We'll start with our data in a table, and this table can have as a source your data warehouse or your Power BI model, anything that you need to ensure a single point of truth. From this point, it's easy to visualize the data. Just go into My Add-ins, choose Zebra BI Tables, and that's it. Zebra BI Tables will scan the data in your pivot table, understand the way that it has to be visualized, and come out with a perfect representation of your financial data with a single click of a button. To make this story even better, we have to compare our data to our plan or our previous year. This will give us a great indication of how our performance is versus what we were expecting or what we were planning. Zebra BI visualizes the relationship between these scenarios with automatically calculated and visualized variances without the need of any formulas or any manual work. In the end, we have a data-dense visualization that could rival any of your data tables, and I would argue it's a lot easier to understand and read. If you don't believe me, try this. Look at your PL statement, then look at this one, and tell me in which one can you tell faster? Are we doing better or worse? I thought so. <laughs> And don't forget that another benefit of visualizing our data like this is that we can present it in different amounts of details depending on who we present it to. So we can present something like this to our management and then deep dive into all of the accounts for let's say our next financial meeting without having to change anything behind in the underlying data or the visualization itself. To finish our story on a high note, we also need to include some comments and comment markers on our visualization. 
So I encourage you to use the comments to give specific insights into some of your accounts or maybe even explain some special occurrences that may have impacted the final number. And you can be sure that you will never be confused at which comment is explaining which data point because the comment markers will help with this, make it as clear as day and understandable to everybody that's gonna read your visualization. Also remember that Zebra BI allows you to highlight different columns or maybe even rows that you deem need special attention or just to highlight something that you're discussing currently on your meeting. So tackle this problem of people not wanting to read your financial statements or having trouble understanding them with Zebra BI. Also, take the opportunity to see how Zebra BI can change your reporting on our live demo event and take the ability to use a special offer that only registrants will get. The link is in the description below. Remember also to like, subscribe, send this video to a coworker and definitely start visualizing your financial data to be great.